Hey guys, how's it going? This is TechPocket, and today I'm gonna compare iOS 8 and iOS 9. So let's get started. Apple said that iOS 9 is faster than iOS 8, and iOS 9 has a better battery life than iOS 8, which is correct because it has a new feature called Battery Saver, which reduces the power of the CPU processor and, of course, the amount of apps on the background. And of course, with this, with this way, it saves battery life. And how about the processor and the speed? We are going to see this today in this video. By the way, iOS 9 released yesterday. So on the left hand, we have the iOS 9. On the right hand, we have the iOS 8, especially the iOS 8.4.1, which is the latest version of iOS 8 before iOS 9. So the test will contain uh, three uh, major tests, which the first is we are going to open uh, some applications on both of these guys, and the second we are going to test these apps out, uh, the Geekbench 3, the speed test in the 3D Mark, and lastly we are going to reboot the both of these devices to see which is faster. So that's pretty much it, and let's go ahead and get started. So the first, so first of all, I'm gonna make sure that no app on the background is turned on to keep the RAM clean, to make the test more fair. And let's go ahead. So the first app where I'm going to launch is of course the App Store. Okay. So here we go. Uh, here I will say which launched I the App Store app first and last. We have iOS 9, which for mi milliseconds it uh, became the second. So, isn't a, a that big difference? So, let's go ahead and do another app. So, let's go ahead on settings. The same. Let's do Safari. We're, we're going to load the Apple website. Oh, so here it seems that iOS 9 is a little bit is faster on loading website web web pages than iOS 8, but it's not a big difference. Let's go ahead and launch the last app, which is Music. So here to be uh to be fair. Basically, kinda the iOS 8 is, was a little bit faster, but because here I have this uh, the Apple Music a bit different, uh, this actually doesn't count. So I'm gonna open another app instead. So I'm gonna open the Weather app. So I'm gonna open this at the same time. So here it seems that iOS 8 uh, launched the app first, then and then the iOS 9 launched the app the second. So uh, let's go ahead and clear the RAM and let's go ahead and test out the Geekbench 3. So I'm gonna actually jump over the test because this takes some uh, long time to uh, complete the uh, the test and of course I'm gonna run the, the, run, the processor be benchmark and I'm gonna be back. So a tiny difference between single core score and uh, on both of these uh, devices and also a tiny score on multiple on multi core score uh, let's see the uh, the details here so actually isn't that much difference so the, the difference is very is a tiny difference between uh, the two iris versions so let's go ahead and test out speedtest.net so begin test
So here we have the uh, results of the speed test net. So I also forgot to show you that both of these devices are connected to the same net network, which is here. Let's go ahead and clear uh, settings. And I'm going to uh, run the test again to be more exactly. So now it seems that uh, iOS 8 here is a little bit slower, slower on upload. But so here it seems that iOS 8 is a little bit slower on upload, and also it's a little bit faster on download. But the previous say on previous test we saw that iOS 9 is faster on download, but it uh, was a little bit slower on upload. So I prefer iOS 9. Uh, internet because a little bit faster it seems a little bit faster than uh, iOS 8 so let's go ahead and clear this app out and we are going to see the last app here which is 3D Mark so I'm going to test the uh, the extreme one to see which of this device again is faster I'm gonna hit run and I'm gonna jump to the results because this actually takes some time a long time to do so here we have got the results and here it seems that iOS 9 was a little bit faster than iOS 8 because here uh, we see the score which are how many frames uh, lapsed uh, from the test. So here it seems that iOS 9 score uh, 3325 but iOS 2 scored uh, two, uh, three, uh, 3213. So it seems that on iOS 9 the gaming performance is better than on iOS 8 but the uh, the differences are very small and sometimes will be uh, not noticeable. And you will not notice and you will not notice the difference. So let's go back again clear again the apps and now the last test is we are going to boot to turn off completely both of these phones by holding down the power button at the same time and then we are going to turn them on again I'm going to slide them off and now you should see a small circle the loading circle but seem doesn't seem that oh there we go I think you can see it by, by the way so it seems that uh, iOS 9 uh, turned off first than iOS 8, with iOS 8, as we can see, the uh, loader icon here, uh, which is turned around, and now it seems that iOS 8 has turned completely off. So let's go ahead and try to open to turn on these guys. So I'm going to hold the power button at the same time on both of his phone. So one, uh, sorry, one, two, three, go. Okay, so let's see uh, which phone of these two guys is going to boot first. Well, so it seems that iOS 9 uh, turned on first than iOS 8, which is normal because Apple said that iOS 9 should be faster than iOS 8. 
So uh, well, that was the video for today guys, hope you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel, watch my latest videos, my latest tutorials, also make sure to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, watch my latest videos, my latest tutorials, also my latest activities. Thanks for watching guys, and I'm gonna see you in my next video.